Welcome back to the night sky. This is Fragile Dreams. And now, it's time for everyone's favorite video game mechanic. Platforming, I mean, backtracking. Uh, there are some changes here, like these dogs weren't here before. So, uh, let's, uh, beat the doggy. And, um... Beat the other doggy. Yep. And the other one. And the other one. I'm starting to see a pattern in this game. Yeah. Don't worry. There are more weapons than... Just, like, these sticks that we hit things with. Not that they're much different, but... Hey. Different weapons is always nice in a video game. Now, you can do some combo attacks with your stick. Only three hits, but, um... There's... If you get the timing right, you can do three different attacks. The first one is the lazy one where you just hit it three times. The second one is one where you do kind of like a powerful horizontal slash, and the other one's a really powerful vertical slash. And I'll be showing those off later. In this video, actually, but whatever. And I speed it up because backtracking is really not fun to watch. <laughs> Yeah. Going through the area once, not in normal speed, is, is good enough. Oh, and here's uh, our second and our third and fourth enemy, because we got the regular jellyfish. Then we have... The, Slightly darker jellyfish. Yes, we have these, which have more health, and that's it. And uh, then we have the dogs, and then we have uh, the hands. The hands being the worst so far. They never show up until you get into the reach, really. Which sucks. Yeah, I do speed this up a little bit because it is kind of monotonous. But I, I, I assume that people don't want to watch this at normal speed because it took me a couple minutes. And that's the difference between me and other LPers. I mean, um... So I'm better. Most YouTube elders. Yeah. Like there, you saw that uh, one of my horizontal slashes turned red. That's the the powerful one. One of the timed I'm not combos. Getting sick. Nice surprise. And I do cut out all of the memory items um, from this point out, and they'll be in bonus videos. I do recommend watching them, because there's some interesting in stories in them. But it's not fun to commentate over, so I- or watch in the regular Let's Play when I have a co-commentator, so. When basically all I do is either make a really unfunny joke, or just be silent. Yeah. Not that I'm doing anything different at the moment, but... He just touched it and it opened. Good job, Seth. Beyond this doorway is the station mall. Please be ready for whatever lies ahead. Right. I am. But I'm sure it'll be fine. After all, I've got you. Yes, of course. Because you have me. There's a little bit of codependence there, but that's fine. Still better than Fee. And now we're in a mall. I guess it makes more sense in this context because Seto's like 14 or probably 10 by anime standards. This place used to be alive with bustling shoppers. In the past, maybe. Looks pretty run down now. I surmise that the frequent earthquakes took their toll on it. Indeed. Seems that way. Well, let's look around. Hmm. 
I, I would like to think that she's doing the finger quotes, but she doesn't have hands. Also, there is a lot of graffiti around this area, and I do take some point notes to show it off, because some of it's kind of cool. Here's the Kiko by Sushinoko Sushi. Do you know what Sushinoko is, Geek? Nope. It's a cryptid, which means it's not real, but um, it's a mythological creature that looks a lot like a snake. It's like a flat type of snake. So basically, they're serving snakes there. Yeah, which is fine. I'm really resisting making a Metal Gear joke about the restaurant. It's too obvious. That's some weird graffiti, but hey, whatever. Oh yeah, cats all over the place. I thought that was yours. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, that wasn't mine. That, they kind of scare me a little bit because they show up in kind of weird places. But they're all friendly. Don't have to worry about them. Run, kitty. There's a dog there. I don't know what type of dog this is. Do you have any idea, Geek? Um, no. Looks kind of... I, I don't even know. Although, kind of the facial structure of this one kind of dog, I think, uh... Pug? It kind of looked like that. Uh, so, so we got the pug things, and then for our next enemy, we have laughing things. We have oh boy, teleporting enemies. Are those just legs? Yep. Monster party, what? What? Monster party? They're school schoolboy legs. Are they just healing themselves? Yes, they heal, you, heal themselves when they walk towards you. Oh boy, this is the best enemy. They're pretty easy once you get your pattern down. Um, but yeah, they, they are obnoxious at times. Like right now. Yeah, especially when you don't have a very good flashlight like the one we have. Spoilers, you can get flash flashlight upgrades, but... Once you can finally see them walking around and not teleporting and kicking you from behind... Some crates are surprisingly fragile and may come apart when struck. Observe. A few blows should do the trick. Hey, there was something inside. Wow, that's amazing. Did you know this key was here? Huh? No. Well, yes. Actually, I knew all along. That's awesome. You know, being with you makes me feel like anything is possible. Please. It was nothing. <laughs> you always do that fake laugh when you lie, Colette. I mean... Yeah... So we got a cat toy. We can interact with cats! Yes! Trust me, I need to game. play No More Heroes again. <sighs> so speaking of dogs that need to be hit with sticks... Why don't you pet your dog with a knife? <laughs> speaking of petting dogs with something... That you don't pet things with? There we go. There's a lot of d doors in here that um, can't op can't be opened, and I just want to double check that because I'm I was pretty sure this door opened, but I guess I was wrong. Like always. Yeah. And more jellyfish enemies because jellyfish. Eventually, we'll get an item that can take these guys out pretty easily, but right now uh, we don't have that. I don't know what you're talking about, Tith. This looks like the scariest game. Yeah, 
floating jellyfish ghosts? Fucking scary. That you beat in, like, you could just beat up armies of them at the same time with a stick? Yeah, they rarely so attack. There's some posters for some high school festival. And a cat riding a shark. Seems about right. Oh, let's play with this cat. But first we have to go and equip our cat toy. As our weapon. And no, you can't actually fight with it. Aw, you could kill enemies with a dark gun and deadly premonition. You could. There you go. Kitty action. But it's blocked by Seto because the camera center's behind him. Actually, if you do it again, it doesn't go into that little cutscene thing, so... You watch it. It's a little bit dark here, but... Eh, it showed. I showed it off. The cat will jump after the cat toy like cats do. It's a little easter egg. It has no purpose, but... It's cool. I'm glad they put it in. Although, if you don't realize that the cat toys don't do anything, you might be kind of confused. And try to make every... You might go backtrack and get all the cats that you missed. Which, if this is on the PS3 or Xbox, it probably counts as an achievement for some reason. I'm so glad they don't have achievements for Wii, Wii games. Because otherwise you totally would do that. Feel free to yeah, ask, probably. You ever have any need for I usually try services. to get most achievements for games I like. Which kind of makes me hate the games a little bit. Because some of them are pretty damn stu stupid. Also, you can buy cat toys here, and that's what I was talking about earlier, if you didn't realize that. You might buy a whole bunch of cat toys. Even though I they don't break. I don't believe they break anyway. Might be wrong. You, maybe it's in case you accidentally dump the one you get. Sell it or something like that, yeah. But yeah, so let's shove all this stuff into our briefcase. And now that we look at our map of Seto's, really, he's he's quite a cartographer here, but um, we now have a kitty icon. Because why wouldn't we? Um, I don't know. That teddy bear is kind of frightening in a very dark mall that's kind of decrepit and has ghosts in it. Also, this name of this pharmacy is Healthy Pharmacy. Look, as long as that bear doesn't start making bear-related puns, I'm cool. Also, there's a face on the wall to the left. I didn't take a good look at it, but that kind of scared me the first time I played through it. I'm a wuss, I'll take it. Look at these huge doodles on the floor. I wonder if that girl's behind them. That girl? Do you mean the silver-haired girl? Yeah. She had the most beautiful voice. I cannot evaluate her singing, but her drawing skills are substandard. Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. But it could be more enjoyable speaking with me than with that girl. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing at all. Not a very good drawer. Not that anyone in this game who's still alive is, evidently. It's like the ghost just went it's like the ghost just went for all the artists immediately. <laughs> they have the weakest constitutions according to history. <laughs> It's pitch black in here. I hope we'll be all right. We will be fine. After all, I am with you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you found that key under the crate, too. But... precisely. We will be fine together. Yeah. We're together. Yes. Allow me to foreshadow even further that I knew something all along. Oh, what's that? There's a little him not hints on the wall, but um, notes. Notes, yeah. No smoking. Right next to sweetness is kindness or whatever. Neatness. Yeah, that right there. Which is kind of a bad thing to put in this really kind of. Crowded in middle of nowhere room. Looks like a storage room. Yeah, it's the labyrinth of the game. It's not that big, but it's one. It is kind of a labyrinth. 
kind of. That's... Hopefully, you remembered from before that you could break the boxes. Otherwise, you're fucked. But thankfully, we don't have the intelligence of an eight-year-old. Awesome. Although this game assumes we do. As a Buddha eyes station mall. There's a door there, but we can't enter it, so uh, we're probably going to have to go through that door. Also, there's a Christmas tree here. This might be uh, useful to note for later. But we'll leave that there. Back there in that corner, there is actually a, another memory item that I missed, but I go back for in after I get through this room. So, I'll just show it off where it is, just after I get past this part. And hands. If you find a narrow place, it's fairly likely there's going to be an enemy, usually hands, in it. Not all the time, but it is it's probably a good idea to note that there is something scary for you. I put scary in scare quotes, but... But well, I kind of yeah. said that at the same time. <laughs> and we got through the room. Wasn't that bad? Look, there are more drawings here. Are those supposed to be crows? They're kind of cute. They look unnatural to me. You think so? I think they're cute. No, they are scary. <laughs> What, what is so amusing? Do you find that funny? Hmm? No, it's nothing. Never mind. I see. In any case, it is clear that this space was inhabited by someone not too long ago. These markings are strikingly fresh. Mm. She might not be that far from here. Yes. The voice actor being unnamed lady who apparently has never been credited for anything. Which is a shame, because she's actually decent. She did really good in Tales of the Abyss. Also, I went, had to go back through the hallway because... I had to get that game cartridge, and I broke my weapon. What game cartridge? What? It's a memory item. Oh. Like I said, it also be put posted in another video, but I will be showing off where to get them all. That's that. And now I have to go buy a new weapon Fancy because I didn't keep my here. stick from a earlier. Surprise. So let's buy another bamboo sword because fucking shit. I hate spending money in games, but uh, sometimes you have to. I think it kind of depends on the game. In RPGs, I usually don't upgrade my characters until, like, a really important dungeon or something. Also, thank you, wall, for getting in my way. Seto is confused about the difference between a wall and a dog that is actively trying to murder him. Yep. Nothing over here. I do like kind of, like, the clutter in this game, though. It's kind of just fun to look at. But I'm easily amused, so uh, leave me alone. Just everything looks... Well, like you said, cluttered. It looks like people were actually here. Some posters. None of these actually... Yeah. None of these actually mean anything. I looked up some of them and none of them are actually things. Maybe they're just Japanese puns that we don't get. It could be. They might be translated incorrectly as well. It's not... Yeah, it's not really... Some of these things aren't really clearly translated. And I wish they translated the maps, because look at this shit. I don't... <sighs> you are here, and the rest of this stuff is just a station. Deal with it. Later on, you'll see a map that's a little bit more comprehensive, but it's still all in Japanese, so you have to, to read everything on it, you need to hover over every bits of Japanese text. And it's kind of annoying. But anyway, let's visit, um, continue exploring this mall. 
Bunch of shutters for shops. And, well, why not visit a side room? Oh no, more ghostly jellyfish. Whatever will they do other than hit it with a stick? Again. I'm pretty sure I spelled this up. But man, maybe I'm a liar. Maybe I'm a lazy editor. I don't know. Maybe you're both. I don't believe there's a lot of enemies here. Oh, yeah, if there was, they're just giant jellyfish. They're not... They're like the least threatening undead I've ever seen. Yeah. I thought you'd say something to that effect. Don't worry, it gets a little bit weirder later on. I thought the kid... I, I don't even mean the fact... I don't even mean the fact that they're ghost jellyfish. I just mean the fact that they just kind of hover around you for five minutes while you beat them with a stick. Yeah. They don't attack very often. Plus they're pitifully easy and easy and really easy to grind once you get a certain type of weapon. But... Oh. That sound is indicative of... Indicative? Of... Ghost legs. No, I'll admit, these things kind of scare me. The first time. Maybe it's just me, but I'm just jaded towards... ...children, disembodied children, child laughter. Well, it's, it's like the here I come. The here I come part is kind of... Uh, I don't know. And my weapon broke again. Best bamboo stick ever. Bamboo sword. So once you get a full inventory, you need to play Resident Evil and try to shove it, everything into the 3x4 grid you have for an inventory. That's fun. Didn't you actually have a lot of space in the Resident Evil 4 briefcase? Yes, you did. I still need to play that game. Me too. I haven't played it either, but I've seen enough bad LPs of it. It's like one of the only four horror games I'm interested in. And also there's an item there that I can't get, even in first person mode. So I speed this up since it's backtracking again. For some reason you can't get it? Is it just where it dropped because it dropped oh. from the enemy? Mm-hmm. Wow. It was, I think it was just a... It wasn't like a memory item, so... It might have been just a food ration, or whatever these things. Uh, so water, good healing item, um, we also got some instant food stuff. My question is, where does he cook the instant food? Or does he just eat it raw? Yeah, the merchant didn't show up, so I'm stuck with a broken weapon. Does a broken weapon even do anything? Uh, you, can, you can only get one-hit combos with it. And it does your base damage plus two. Ah, uh, your base damage is uh, affected by what level you are. I think I'm like nine or eight or whatever by this point. That was kind of pathetic, that fight right there. Mm-hmm. Another shutter that won't budge, like everything around here. But thankfully, this dog was guarding a stick, and now I have a weapon. Beat up a dog to steal its stick, you bastard. Yeah. Too bad you don't get bones. Although, they're, knowing Japanese games, they'd probably be human bones that you fight with. Which would actually be pretty cool, but whatever. Sharpened femur. Now, what's this? Uh-oh. I get tutorial just because they're, they're afraid? Okay. They're afraid that you won't figure it out? Yeah. So that's a cracked floor, and you have to be careful while walking across it. In other words, don't run across it. You can crouch across these ones. These are just the regular cracked floors. The other one that we saw was a very cracked floor, which you can't even crouch upon. 
Do they just instantly fall? No matter what you do, they just collapse under you? Nope, you have to just take it even slower than these. So you have to crouch and move slowly? You can do it both of them standing up, but you just have to move slower than you would be if you were going full pace at crouching. If that makes sense. Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of reminds me of that one level in Batman Arkham City, only it sounds even worse. It's not that bad. There's not many of these things in the game. So, so far, the biggest challenge of this game seems like it being a memory test. Remember that you can break boxes. Remember that you can crouch over cracked floors. Yeah. But it slowly becomes a pretty difficult game with combat. Mainly because the controls in this game, let's just say they aren't very good. Wasn't there another pseudo-horror RPG on the Wii that was supposed to be really hard? What was it called? Ah, I forgot. I have no idea what you're talking about. I kinda wish you did know, though. Is it an anime game? Yeah, it was something from Japan. It might have been published by Atlas. Have to look at that thing. Then you can just, like, I don't know, throw in an annotation or something. I do with that. Said might have been, I don't really remember. Baroque, that's what it was called. Oh, I've heard that was actually a really bad game. I didn't know it was like this, though. Uh, I just remember seeing a trailer and it looked like it was... Yeah, it looked pretty bad. But it did... Look kind of like this. Hmm. Heard it was also stupidly difficult, too. But then that was a YouTube comment saying that, so probably it was actually really easy. Yeah, probably. Unless somebody in these comments wants to correct us on that. I don't know. It's a pretty cheap game, I might check it out sometime. I just... I go to Amazon and read the reviews and it had, like, really bad reviews, so I was like, okay, I'm probably not going to buy this unless I find it in Pawn Shop for, like, $3. But this is one game that I bought at, like, $30 price, so good job, Fragile Dreams. And I thought it was a good, good buy, too. But anyway, the puzzle here was finding another key, like any horror game. At least we aren't solving bullshit puzzles. Starting to see a pattern here with this game. Go through a place, find a locked door, fight three armies of enemies with a stick. Only unlike Ico, it isn't it's just even more busy work than Ico. And then fall through the floor. Then backtrack, find a key. And here's how you take the very cracked floors. This is fun. Yeah, I had to do this at one point in uh, Batman Arkham City, too. And it wasn't fun there, either. In fact, it was really annoying, because you had to go to, like, one room, then you thought there was nothing in there, so you went to the other room, then you realized there was something in the other room, so you had to go all the way back. Mm-hmm. But now, um, things are kind of getting better, because we're not being slammed with, oh, yeah, um, PF speeches all the time right now. True. Wow, There's a save cool. point, maybe you should save. Yeah. And I do need to buy a new weapon. And here's a new type of weapon, the butterfly net. These are the series of long weapons that are kind of like the AoE weapons, I guess you would call these are really nice for taking out things like the jellyfish. And they're probably my favorite weapon type in the game. Okay, they're staff weapons, not long weapons. My bad. Can I just point out it's kind of funny how they're butterfly nets? Because I was just thinking about Animal Crossing earlier for some reason. 
Uh, whenever I hear, hear about butterfly nets, I automatically go back to Link to the Past and how you beat a boss by fucking reflecting balls at him <laughs> with your butterfly net. This place appears to be much older than the mall we were just in. And from within, I sense... I sense... What is it? Mm, nothing. Or rather, from within... I'm picking up hostile readings. Be very careful. Be very careful. In other words, um, let's go try to read some posters on the wall. I thought I was going to do that. Never mind. Let's check out this door that's kind of slanted. Hmm. Something must have dented that pretty hard. Probably an earthquake. Can't read these posters, but I think they're the same ones we've seen before. I was like, probably, but with this localization, who knows? Okay, I am here. Yes, yes, you are indeed here. All right, fin finally for the last leg of the mall. And more dogs. I gotta wonder how much Namco Bandai hates dogs. Namco Bandai hates everyone, are you kidding? Oh, good point. You, you played Tales of Graces, you know that this is true. Yeah. I know. I hope Tales of Zillia doesn't suck. But it will. Because I lost all hope for that developer. Do I want to go down this path? I'm second guessing myself. Oh, a group of three dogs. This is almost as menacing as the group of. Oh, he hit me. Okay, never mind. These guys are pretty menacing. Yeah, he took off like. a tiny bit of your. Get slowly getting longer health bar. Yeah. And somehow healed two hit points out of the 50 that you're constantly doing to him. What's that, 30? <laughs> I can't read. That's 30. It's also the preview video, so it looks pretty shitty. Or I just can't read. Well, you are from the south. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> More ghost jellyfish. Guess I'll ignore them. Because it's pretty easy to run past the video, the, yeah, the enemies in this game. You could speedrun this if you wanted to. You don't have to fight many enemies in this game. The problem with that, though, is that some of the bosses are actually hard. And yes, there are bosses in this game. Other than ones that ask you to play hide and seek? Yes. Ones that actually have combat. Amazing. Yep. Hotel staff only. Apparently there's a hotel. Maybe that'll come up again. Who knows? But anyway, let's go towards probably the saddest moment in this game. Please hurry. I am nearing the limit of my functional capacity. Functional capacity? For now. For now I am alright. Now hurry. Okay. Alright, so what's gonna be fun for this next part? Well, how about some rooms with some jellyfish? <laughs> I gotta just think the developers are doing this to troll us. Uh oh, this one's gonna attack me. Get ready. Holy shit! Holy shit! Uh, oh, there we go. Wow, that was a close one. <laughs> this game is so scary. Don't be pure. <laughs> the problem is he's probably going to LP this at one point. Yeah, but no one really cares. Okay, sorry, let me rephrase that. Nobody who matters cares. Yeah. 
Now these guys, on the other hand, are kind of difficult to avoid if you don't- if you can't actually see them. Like, they just teleport you and kick you, which is bullshit. But as soon as you get them in your flashlight- Looking at your health bar and the amount of healing items you probably have by this point, it looks more annoying than challenging. It gets harder. Quite a bit harder, actually. Like a- I like how this LP so far has been, it gets better, I swear! It gets harder, I swear! I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> There's some water here, but let me allow my... allow me to organize my inventory. Ooh, and a campfire just when we need it. One th good thing about this game is that, really, there's usually a save point pretty close to you. So you shouldn't worry too much. But you should save every so often, especially in later parts of the game. When the enemies become total bullshit, instead of just a little bit of bullshit. So instead of mildly inconveniencing you, they actually harm you. The controls do not work properly, evidently. That ladder ahead should return us to the surface. Mm. But it's too bad we never found that girl down here. I... I suppose I was not of much assistance to you then. What? Come on, don't say that. Really, you were a huge help. A lifesaver. Well, if you really mean that, then I am relieved. Hey, what's the matter? Warning, battery low. Huh? Wait, what battery? Warning, battery low. What's happening? What should I do? Warning, battery low. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Tell me! Battery has been depleted. It seems that our journey together must come to an end here. I am terribly sorry. Please. Forgive me. But why? <laughs> this time. Please don't speak. Let me talk. You know, I always love talking more than anything. Unfortunately, the battery I run on has become completely depleted. This will be our last conversation. If you had not come along when you did, I would have malfunctioned in that decrepit station all alone. Our time together may have been short, but I'm glad I got to spend it with you. Oh no, I have only 37 seconds left until complete termination of operation. There is still so much I wish to talk to you about. But you must let me tell you... one last thing. When all is said and done, I am glad to have met you. Seeing the dawn together, and those unusual drawings... Oh! And your name! I never asked you what your name is! Thank you. Seto. My name is Seto.
Schmerz. I had a dream that a familiar voice was calling me. As I walked along, it spoke to me, sometimes worried, sometimes happy. We watched the red sky, full of clouds, caught up in the summer wind. The little time we spent together shone brilliantly, like a light in those darkened days of the past. I know that no matter how badly I wish to see you again, that can never be. Those who live must continue to live. Those who are dead will only continue to stay dead in the cold, hard earth. <laughs>